I can see what y'all telling me right now. It's looking good, even especially since the sun has like dried the grass a little bit. Cause I told y'all it's been really bad weather, and it's been raining out here on this grass, right? So when I was here the other day, I mean, when y'all saw in that video, the grass didn't really look appealing, really. But the sun has like dried that rain up, and the grass starting to look good. It don't look too bad. I like that it's, it's down. Because look, man, I did a lot of work out here, but we're going to finish her up today. I know y'all saw this, man. Look, this is where I took the picture at. This is where I took the picture at for the community post. You couldn't even see that it was a window right there, could you? Man, the Bougainvilleas had crowded up that whole little spot, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all in the chat. Just stay in here and talk to me. We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna start doing these more often too. But we got a lot more to cut, y'all. Uh-huh, we gotta cut that. And we gotta cut this big long strip. Oh, man. Woo! Hey, right there, man. I'll tell y'all what else we gotta cut too. What y'all think? Y'all give me some suggestions. What y'all want me to do on this part too? Y'all want weed eater action or y'all want me to try to run the mower through this tall grass? Y'all know it really ain't gonna work, but I'll do what y'all want me to do. Listen, man, we're gonna put on the show. Y'all see this tall grass I'm passing, man? I'm still walking. Man, why does the city do this? It's not even cool. The city owns this building, y'all. The police officers that approached me the other day, they told me the city actually owns this building. Now look, we still got more grass. I gotta do all this. I gotta do all that. That hasn't been cut yet. The cool thing too is, um, it's a gopher turtle that lives out here, y'all. I'll put it in part two. I was gonna put it in part one, but he lives right in that hole. Oh, he's right there. I don't know if I can see him. He big too. I thought it was a snake hole. And then I was working and I saw dirt flying. I was like, who is over there kicking up dirt? And I went over there, I saw a big turtle. I said, oh. So I'll put that in part two. Give me one second. I'm just showing y'all the land and I'll, I'll sit somewhere and we'll talk. But as y'all can see, this is what I did in the video. Tall grass was all out here. Cleared it on out. I know it look a little dirty. We're going to clean it up, y'all. Y'all know I ain't going to leave the, the pavement with all that grass all on there. I'm going to clean this place up. The number one thing is I got to cut this grass back here and on the side. When I get that grass cut back here on the side, we'll pretty much be done. And I got a special tool. Y'all guess what I purchased today? Man, I only purchased it because y'all helped me out with this channel. Y'all come in here every day supporting me every Sunday it really helped me out but look so the cops told me about this place right that's why I don't mind coming in here because they told me but um this is a cancer treatment center y'all and somebody came over here and bust through it as you can see see the glass on the ground somebody bust right through the door homeless people probably and not all homeless people want to you know, cause havoc, but some homeless people just want to break stuff, all right? So the cops told me to uh, be careful in this bathroom. They said, don't use that bathroom, man. It stinks in there. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take y'all on the tour. I ain't going to put this in part two. Y'all only going to get it here on the live because y'all deserve cool stuff like this. So this is a bathroom right here. It's another bathroom right here. I guess this was like the front desk where you come and check in. We'll take a walk through here. I'm a little brave right now because I told y'all the cops came out here and they told me about this place. So I'll come through. Let's see what we got. 
hope nobody jump out of here and attack me. Hey, anybody in here? Anybody in here? <laughs> Go out once. Go in twice. Please don't kill me. Oh, this is so nice. So that's where the window is, y'all. Let me see. I can't see y'all chats. Okay, I can see y'all now. That's where the window is, right here. You couldn't see out this window before until I did that. You could. There was no sun coming in here. I know I need to be careful, Super Ladybug, because anybody could be in here. But look, why would you come destroy? I don't think it was homeless people. Let, 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 me, um, let me back up. Let me back up. I'm not going to blame it on a homeless person. If you're in here, this is a big place. I'm getting a little scared, y'all. <laughs> I'm getting a little scared. This is a big place, and I don't want to... What if I get lost and then I start to panic? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to embarrass myself on live stream. Hello. What's up, Paulette? Variety TV. Oh, my God. It's getting darker and darker. I know y'all enjoying this. If y'all want me to do more of these, let me know. I love y'all. And I know y'all know I ain't lying when I say that. I truly, ooh, it's dark in there. Oh, heck no. Because somebody could be real quiet right now like, oh, come on back here. Come on back here. I'm waiting for you. And they could just jump out and get me. Man, come on now. If you, if you back here, say something now. If you back here, say something. I ain't coming here to mess with you. Ooh, wee, it's too dark. No, nah, it's too dark back there. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. It might not even be humans in here. It could be animals, anything in here. Um, I woke up this morning and my sister told me to be careful in the yard because she saw a bobcat in our yard. She saw a bobcat. Oh, listen, somebody said put the board back up. I'm doing a lot. I'm actually going to clean this glass up. Everything's going to get clean. Not every everything, but I'm, I'm not cleaning this up. This ain't my job. But that right there on the outside of that door, that's going to get cleaned up because I just don't like how that look. But um, listen, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the, uh, the part one to this video. And uh, I hope y'all having a good Monday. I really appreciate y'all coming to the premiere on a Monday and showing out. You know what I mean? Like, it was a lot of people in there. Two 2,000 people? I truly appreciate that. Y'all got to really understand, like, I do this for the love. Me and Al are both content creators. We don't do this because we getting paid on YouTube. We've been making videos. I mean, a lot of y'all been looking at my old channels from years ago, from... 15 plus years ago. I've been seeing y'all watch the videos and leave comments on my old channels. This didn't just start a year ago. Me and Al been making videos on YouTube literally for over 15 years. And um, we just love to make videos. You know, I've been recording with videos since I was about 11 years old. You know, I had a VHS camcorder my dad got for me. And after that happened, I just went ham. And back then, you know, a lot of people that make content now, we, we, we're spoiled because we have these SD cards and we have these jump drives and we have all this stuff. But um, back in the day, we didn't have that luxury. I'm just letting y'all know, we didn't have that luxury back in the day. Um, you had to go to Best Buy and that's when we had the computer towers, right? And you had to go to Best Buy to buy an actual chip for your computer tower and you had to open up the computer tower and install this chip so that you can plug the red white and yellow video and audio cables from the back of your vhs camcorder to your computer now so this is something i'm telling y'all you had to install this then you had to install the software that came with the chip the, the motherboard the, the the circuit board whatever it's called and you had to install that software so that it would you know install the drivers for that and then you had to plug your camera up and rewind it to the part that you wanted to capture on your computer and press record on the software on the computer and get every little bit and piece of footage that way to put on the computer. Then you had to edit it. Now you can just drag and drop your video files from SD card right over to your desktop and edit right into your favorite 
internet program. So y'all gotta realize this, like when y'all see me and Al's success, don't think that we ju it just happened overnight, man. And if you wanna do anything in life, you can do it. We are prime examples that you can do anything you want in life if you just put your mind to it. Man, do y'all know my life has not been glamorous? You know what I mean? Like my life, listen, man, like I worked my tail off and I never gave up. And when people didn't believe in, and believe in me, when people told me, uh, oh man, that's far-fetched, like you, your ideas, your dreams are just too high to reach, I was like, well, I'm gonna keep going. And you know, uh, a lot of people that are 32, I'm gonna say my, my age, y'all know how old I am. People that are around my age, they just really give up on their dreams if it doesn't happen for them by this time. And that's what I don't want y'all to do. I don't want y'all to do that. All right, I, don't, I really don't want y'all to do that. I want y'all to keep pushing towards your goals and dreams, no matter how old you are. I'm telling you, man, like, cause right when you about to give up, it's right around the corner. Like seriously, right when you about to give up, it's right there around the corner, I promise you. Don't think I'm just saying this because you hear this from every other person that's successful or whatever. I'm not there yet. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know how YouTube work, man. I'm not there yet. I'm out here working my tail off because I love doing this type of work. And uh, y'all ask all the time, I grew up, just my dad is a country man and a military dad. So he loved having land. He, he has eight acres of land in Cairo, Georgia. And when we were growing up here in Fort Pierce, Florida, he bought a big lot on the side of our house and we had to clear it. So I've been doing this. Like this, literally I had to help my dad clear land when I was like nine years old. And this is just what we are about really in the South. We just like being outside and working on land. So it's uh, fun to me. Also, as y'all know, with this pandemic, we're, we're, we were stuck inside the house when the pandemic first came and what they told y'all, get outside, get some air get some air you know what I mean breathe some air because when you're sheltered in all the time that can make you sick in itself so being out here is helping me stay healthy I feel like I'm breathing this fresh air enjoying some sun that's about it all right but um I ain't leaving yet so y'all talk to me I'm, I'm reading the comments I just ran it for a little bit because I wanted y'all to see the area and I wanted to have some fun with y'all in there. I, that was my first time going in. I didn't go in there yesterday or the day before. I just saw the glass, stepped in and stepped out. I never went back there. So I wanted to, you know, kind of embarrass myself on this live stream. <laughs> I don't play that, it's dark in there, man. And just because no nobody answering back when I say, is anybody in here? That don't mean that no one's in there. They could be waiting for me to come back there. Uh, Tina, I did go to college. I went to Daytona State College because I grew up in Fort Pierce, but I moved at a very young age after my mom and dad divorced. My mom relocated to Daytona, which is north of Fort Pierce. She found work over there and found a new husband and stuff over there. And if y'all didn't know, my favorite stepdad ever that I ever had in my life, I've had a few, but my favorite stepdad was a Caucasian white man, all right? And so that's why I, I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, like my mom was married to a white man, all right? My mom was married to a white man for over seven years and I still have a really close relationship with him. He taught me a lot about how to just really boost my creativity. At the time I was only just drawing and sketching and when I met him, he started showing me how to carve wood and make different Indian pieces. He was also Cherokee Indian and he would take me to his aunt and she had a, a jewelry shop in Daytona where she made beaded bracelets and necklaces like really cool stuff. So I tell y'all be open to all type of cultures because that's why you got this AP that you love today because as a child my parents knew okay like our kids we're going to make sure that they understand that everybody is equal all right everybody has the same opportunities but they made sure to understand like to tell me like you're going to go through some things now we don't want you to be blind because it, it's a lot that comes with you know being who you are but at the same time you need to love everybody and treat everybody with respect you know i my dad showed me when i was a kid pictures of him and his girlfriend while he was in the service beautiful white lady that lived in japan you know 
And my mom, once again, married to that white man for seven years. I just connected with my stepbrother, his son. And uh, the last time I seen my stepbrother, his name is Morgan. He didn't, he, he loved me. He was attached to me. He was on my hip. Everywhere I went, he wanted to go with me. But he was only about five or six years old the last time I seen him. So I found him on Facebook and I reached out to him. And he, he thought I was just pulling his leg and trying to get something from him. But I was like, you're, you don't remember, man? You're, you were my stepbrother, but he really was young, so he didn't remember. And right before my mom moved to Georgia, I had to help her clean out her storage unit, and I found pictures of me and him together during the wedding. And I sent it to him immediately, and he like just he called me immediately. He said, "What's your number, man?" He said, "I can't believe it's you. I've been looking for you, man." He said, "I didn't know that was you, though." Like I said, "I've been looking for you too." So we're gonna go fishing soon. I would actually like to take Al to go fishing with my stepbrother because Al is the trail bass master. Y'all don't know about that. But Al really can fish, man. He really can fish. Like, y'all think he can cut grass, but he can do both the same. Like, I'm telling you, Al don't play. Y'all been seeing him catch redfish on Instagram. If you ain't following Al on Instagram, go to Instagram and follow Al Blades. There's a lot of cool stuff coming from both of us, man. Um, we've been busy. So a lot of you think that me and Al are mad at each other. I read a lot of the comments. Every last comment, y'all, I read, okay? So if you're wondering if I read your comment, I most likely have. And I only love the comments that are positive. If it's a negative comment, you might not get a, a like from me. And that's just, it is what it is, you know? I'm not going to give attention to the, the negative comments on these videos. But if you're positive, I'm going to love it. And, and I try to make sure I respond to as many as I can. But if I don't respond to you, hop over to Instagram and send me a DM and eventually I'm going to respond. Subscribers, it can tell you right now. I do random stuff. All right. Like it was a subscriber the other day. Where you at? I, I forgot her name. If you can pop in for me real quick. It was a subscriber the other day that left a comment saying I'm one of your biggest supporters. I'm telling you, AP, I left a, a comment back. I said, email me. I'll send you a shirt. Y'all never know what you're going to get from me. You just got to be brave and communicate with me because I'm here for the right reasons on YouTube. All right? I ain't talking about nobody else now because everybody, I love everybody on YouTube, but I, I'm just here to really let y'all know that I'm on this platform from, for the greater good, to connect with great people, to inspire people, to receive inspiration from people. It's not one way with me. I love being inspired by y'all. Okay? If y'all want to see something, look what look what I got there. What is that, y'all? What is that? Come on, man. And this all because of y'all coming and watching the videos every Sunday. If you are wanting to start a lawn care business, take what I'm doing for proof. It's a blower. I got an edger too. Oh, y'all thought it was. Come on, man. Do y'all see what y'all doing for me? I know y'all see the edger down there. It's brand new. Do y'all do y'all see what y'all are doing for me though? This is not. Don't just say, oh, the AP's getting it done. Y'all coming here watching these videos is making my channel blow up. It's y'all. I'm working hard and making good content. That's what I know how to do best. But y'all are the ones that's making. don't man i like to put in work that's why a lot of y'all be saying uh why not work smarter you know you're working harder work smarter but i like it we spoke about this earlier i get a workout out here i get a workout out here man so i don't want to really i don't want to take it easy i like working hard and i want y'all to watch me work hard if that's okay you know that was my ac i'm sorry y'all y'all gotta realize i'm in florida man look at this sun look how look at this sun beaming it's hot all right <laughs> okay i do need a truck okay i do need a truck i need a truck i want a chevy s10 y'all gotta realize man i'm an old soul i'm a 
real old soul. So even with cars, I don't like just going to the lot and buying a 2022 or a 2020 car. I'd rather go get, you know, something and fix it up. That's why y'all saw me flip out about Ronnie's cars. Like, I'm a car guy, but a vintage car guy. I like older cars. I don't really like new cars. But um, if we get a truck, maybe we'll get a Chevy S10 or something, man. You know, nothing big, you know, because I'm not getting that type of big equipment. Now, I'm getting stuff I need to do a good job on these yards and so that I can put less stress on myself while I'm working. But I'm not going to go crazy. All right. We're going to stick with the basic necessities. And it's all about inspiring people because I noticed when I started doing this, I stood out from the crowd because I started with just bare necessity tools that people have in their garage and at their home. And that gave inspiration to people to start doing this. So just knowing that I kind of catered that into the niche, cause a lot of people was pushing, you know, push mowing, but they had all these souped up lawnmowers. I just got Al, little mower, you know, pretty much Al was just like, take that thing, man. When it blow up, just toss that thing, like for real. And I said, man, I'm gonna make this thing work. I'm gonna make it work, okay? All right, I'm sorry. Let me see. Was just in Florida last week. Hit New Smyrna Beach. Um, who are you? Do you know me? You might know me because I went to New Smyrna Beach High School and I was homecoming king 2008. I'm not saying that to brag. I didn't want to be homecoming king. But my principal, which I had a really good relationship with, I went into her office and I begged her to take me off homecoming court. And she said, that's not possible. So you got to do it. And I ended up winning. My mom told me I was going to win, too, and I didn't believe it because I was the only black person on homecoming court. And I hate to bring race out, but I was the only black person on homecoming court. <laughs> so I was like, am I going to win this or not, man? I, I was like, I don't want to win it. I don't want to be here. I don't like attention. I don't like me and Al are similar. We get on here. We have great personalities, y'all. We love people and we, we truly love people, but um, we're also shy that uh that we didn't go to the gie last year and that's mainly why it was a little bit frightened <laughs> well it was a little oh i switched it around it was a little bit frightened man we knew it was gonna be a lot of people in one place at one time and uh we was like man well we all right <laughs> we're gonna do some work in tennessee and go back home <laughs> man, but um yeah so I'm going to start answering questions. Y'all start throwing some questions out. I'm going to start answering all your questions right now before I get into this uh, this job that we got. I got to finish up this. I ain't trying to come back out here tomorrow. And actually, I got to go to Ronnie's house and do a photo shoot with Ronnie. I got to do a photo shoot with Ronnie. Because I just made him a piece of merch. And I want him to be the model for it. All right, I'm, re I'm ready for the questions, y'all. You're a Wiz Khalifa of lawn care. You know how many people call me Wiz Khalifa every day? You're goofy for that. Y'all start sending these questions. We're going to start answering them. I'll, I'll stay on here for another 15 minutes before I get out there. Yes, Sha, I'm drinking water. Y'all say what's up to Miss Blades in the crib. Miss Blades is in the house. Sha, Al is not in here, right? I just want to make sure that I'm not, um, that I didn't miss him come in. I don't think he might. I don't think he might. Don't y'all be stalking shot now. I should have never said that, but that's that's Al's wife. That's my best friend too. They they a package deal. If one of them my best friend, then both of them are. That's just how it worked. Um that you know what, Liz, it wasn't my tooth. It was actually I had um what did, what do they call those things? They're like blisters that, that are on your gum line. Uh uh I forgot what it's called. So it wasn't even my tooth. But when you have that type of situation, like a blister on your gum line, it's going to, you know, all your nerves are there for your tooth. So it just triggered a toothache. It wasn't even a real toothache. It was just the blister on my gums triggered the toothache. And as soon as the blister left, the toothache went away. So I'm good. But I, yeah, a canker sore. That's exactly what it is. Because I did research. I said, what is this thing, man? And I started looking in the mirror and it had a white head on it and it was red on the outside. And I researched it and I found out it was a canker sore. I said, oh, it's a canker sore. And a lady on YouTube, because I like watching YouTube to figure out how to do stuff, right? A lady on YouTube was like, if you put, uh, if you dip a Q-tip in peroxide and, and roll it in salt, 
and hold it onto that canker sore for a good two minutes, the next day it will be gone. And it was gone. So if y'all ever have canker sores, try that out. Because um, it went away. The next morning I was like, where is that thing? And it was gone. I couldn't believe that worked. I said, wow, it actually worked. Okay, I'm missing stuff. Let me see if I can scroll up. Okay. What what would I take get you and maybe others to come to Tina? Hey, okay, I'm gonna tell everybody. The thing about me and Al, we need leads, all right? We need leads for these jobs. We're knocking on doors, and a lot of the times, just because y'all see us helping somebody out in our videos, that don't mean that we didn't knock on 20 doors before we got that one we'll spend like five hours riding around looking for somebody to help why y'all think my little slogan looking for somebody to help for real i'm looking for somebody to help at all times so if y'all need help or if y'all know somebody that need help you need to send me an email i'm willing to travel i like to drive i will drive i think i spoke to somebody the other day that actually lives really close to where I moved from to come back to Florida. Like literally I had an art studio in Austell, Georgia, and I would talk to Al every day. He called me when I was in that art studio and that's when he started his channel. He was asking me questions like, what should I name? And I said, man, you gonna come up with it. And he came up with Al Blades. But I was, I remember just being in the studio and I said, man, if you keep making these videos, I'll watch them every day while I'm working on my work in my art studio. And he kept making them. And he said, you should come back to Florida, man. And I said, maybe. I said, I'll come visit. And uh, I had my own business when I was in Atlanta, too. So I was able to come visit for a long amount of time. So I came back home for like two months. And I hung out with Al. And I got homesick. And he said, you might as well just come back. And I said, oh, man. I said, I'm coming back. As soon as I came back, y'all got to realize, man, tell them shy. Y'all got to realize, if y'all don't respect our blades, you're going to respect them before I end this live stream. You're going to respect them before I end this because you wouldn't know me. Y'all wouldn't have this relationship with me if it wasn't for Al. You wouldn't. Oh, y'all asked for the gas. It's about 445. I just gassed up my, um, my cans. It's about 445 over here. But y'all wouldn't know me. Y'all want to be getting this content, uh, the merch that y'all bought in the past. Y'all want to have those cool things like Al. Listen, let me just break it down. When I came back home to Florida, Al said, don't go looking for no job. Because a lot of people leave comments saying, I don't need to do this for AP. I don't need to give this to AP. I don't need to. Do Al don't need to do nothing for AP. Because you know why? When I came back to Florida, Al said, don't go looking for a job. I work alone. Come work with me. You know I got the lawn care business. I came and worked with Al. Al making days for me. I, he didn't have to have me come work with him. Al can take care of all his client yards that he had in the past by himself. But he was a real best friend, and he wanted to support me. And he knew that I am an entrepreneur. He was like, if I can just help AP out, I can help him get where he want to go with his dreams. So me and, me and Al have been in this together for a long time. If y'all only knew, man... Y'all like to come up with stories and assumptions, but y'all got to realize me and Al didn't meet on the internet. Me and Al are real life best friends. Like, I would never disrespect Al and, and he wouldn't do that to me. So for y'all, we laugh at it. We'll get together and look at y'all comments and be laughing. Not laughing at y'all, but just laughing at the things y'all saying in the comments because none of it makes sense to us because we love each other. Really, that's my best friend, man. I've had a lot of best friends in life and I tell you what. Al Blades is my number one best friend because when things got rough in life and where when people could have turned their backs on me or not care, Al always cared. Al and Shy, his wife, they always cared about me. And they always looked out for my best interest. And if I was really struggling, I don't like asking people for help. And they were forced to help on me. And that's one thing about me. My pride getting in the way sometimes. But if you can show me that you truly love me, I'm going to love you to death. And that's what it is with me and Al Blades. We're going to rock this thing out till we dead, man. We're going to be out here doing this until until it's, until it's over. And we're going to be 
inspiring all of y'all we just started y'all gotta remember that man al only had his channel for less than two years imagine what we're gonna do next and we want to take each and every one of y'all on the ride with us because we wouldn't be here without y'all we truly understand that that you all are the just the pieces to the puzzle if we didn't have you we couldn't do this work me and al still be doing client yards is that a bad thing no but we can actually get out here like literally i was my first day out here People across the street were doing landscaping over there. And they came over here. They said, uh, you doing this by yourself? I said, yeah, I'm doing this by myself. They said, man, we got riding lawnmowers over here. And you over here working directly across the street from us, doing a bigger property than us without a riding lawnmower? I said, yeah. They said, well, how much you getting paid? I said, nothing. And they can't believe it, but they just don't understand that we're out here with a bigger mission, man. It's about helping and cleaning up the community. It might sound cliche and funny. When you think about it, oh, who wants to clean up a community? I do. This is where I'm from. I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida. This is where I'm from. Why am I going to let my city go to waste and look horrible? Why? Leave it there. Gas on the West Coast, Canada, too. Oh, my. Oh, man. You and I are the best. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay attention to uh, the comments now. I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to look at the comments because I think y'all deserve that. I'm sorry. I just had to really give y'all that background on Al and me because y'all really think something going on when we like the bestest friends ever. That's the funny part. But y'all will see. You and Al, y'all go way beyond what other lawn services do. It's because y'all got the assignment and you work from your heart. That's very true. That's very, that's what it is. You just said a whole mouthful. The ladder in the car was coming. Y'all see that, man? Come on, man. I'm making it move and shake. Y'all saying, I need this, I need that. I really don't need it. <laughs> Y'all want me to have it. Y'all got to, come on now, be honest. Y'all want me to have it. Do I need it, though? I bet. How many videos I got on the channel so far? I ain't trying to brag. I'm just trying to talk to y'all because y'all are my subscribers. And y'all know it's all. Y'all know a lot about me and my videos. So how many videos I got out so far? Almost about, what, 14, I think? I looked the other day. My playlist was like 15 videos. I know one video I gave y'all on that one Sunday morning wasn't really a real video. So it's about 14 videos on there. And I've been able to do it. Look at this property, y'all. Look how big this is. Now, could I use more equipment? Yeah, but I don't need it. It's the difference between want and need. Okay, we want soda. We need water. Facts. Come on now. You get what you feel better and using. But I want to make sure. That's one thing. Now I'm not gonna be on here, being ignorant and being stubborn. Okay, we're all in this together on this channel. We all make up this channel together. So if you guys honestly want to see me upgrade. That's something I can do, but we're not going to go too far, y'all. I want to, I, I, I honestly like having a different channel than everybody else's. I want y'all to understand that. Like, I like that y'all come here and like Sue says, y'all get to see the crazy legs. You don't really see crazy legs on any other channels, do you? Sue, let me know. I could be wrong. To be honest, the only people videos I watch is Al and the Juggernaut. Much love to Top Notch. Much love to everybody else that has a channel. Um, but like y'all don't even understand the half of it like me and i wouldn't be on youtube doing this type of content without the juggernaut so he is an og in my in my books y'all y'all don't even know how close we are y'all think that i don't i don't even know the lawn care juggernaut when in reality before al even made his first video the lawn care juggernaut was the one that convinced us to do this so when y'all in the comments like Hey, man, like, you know, lawn care. I'm like, y'all don't even know that I've known Kevin for over a year now. I can call Kevin right now. I have his number in my phone. Like, we all know each other on, in this niche. Like, we all know each other. And um, I love Kevin so much, man, because he really, he really, like, saw something in Al. Because y'all, if you go back on Al's channel and look at his old videos, you'll see he been doing lawn care videos, but not tall grass videos he was just recording me and him doing his client yards at that time and al only had like 70 subscribers i'm telling y'all a real story that you gotta take it take it and run with it al only had 70 subscribers all right listen 
I was living in Atlanta before I came back home for over a year. So Al had that channel for over a year with only 70 subscribers. When I got here, we started doing the videos, doing his client yards, and the lawn care juggernaut said, I love your channel, Al. Lawn care juggernaut had like 90,000 subscribers at the time. He was doing well, and Al only had 70 subscribers. And he actually gave Al the time of day to give him inspiration. He said, man, you might only have 70 subscribers, but I see something in you, and you're going to be something one day. And I was like, man, you see this dude with 80,000 subscribers telling me that I got a good channel? And we hit it off from there. That's how the relationship with me, Al, and the juggernaut started. Me and Al was just riding around in his truck doing client yards, and he said, look at this, man. This man got 80,000 subscribers, and he taking the time out to show love to me and talk to me. And he convinced us to do that yard literally off the same road man it's it's right down it's literally a less than a mile down the road where al did his first video and we did that video and it's been it's been up ever since so if y'all was wondering about the lawn care juggernaut and the relationship we have with him it ain't no coincidence that al did the collaboration with him it ain't no coincidence y'all we've been waiting on this literally we've been planning the collaboration over a year ago so y'all starting to see now you know what i mean y'all starting to see now but um this has been in the works it just you know kevin finally made his way down from oklahoma to florida you know to get the work in but we've been just buddies and inspiring each other and pushing each other for over a year it just looked like something new because i'm doing yards now so y'all like oh this is a new person but if you go to al's channel and you look at his very first video i'm there if you look at his videos before his first tall grass video, I'm there. And y'all starting to realize that because you're taking time to go back into the old videos. So, but that's what content is for, you know, for you to take your time and, and indulge in it and receive it. Because we, we're going to keep putting videos up for y'all to enjoy because it's just, we love this content and we love that y'all love the content. And yeah, we follow you from France and we adore your courage. Could you please... Could you please us with two or three words in French? Tell me how to say something in French. Edward said, so you don't cut with Al? Man, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. Sha, do I cut with Al? I don't know. Y'all got to realize, though, man. You asking me, do I cut with Al? Do you see what this says? Like, what? Do, come on, y'all. Do y'all see this? Y'all see this, man? You steady asking me if I cut with Al and I have this on my head. Al stays with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Al stays with me everywhere I go. Do y'all not notice that I wear him on my hat? I made this hat. Y'all didn't know that was Al? I know y'all noticed it now. I'm playing. I'm not upset. I love to talk like this. You got to get to know me, man. I'm having fun. But why would I wear this hat if I didn't like Al? Why would I wear this hat if this wasn't my best friend? Why would I wear this hat, y'all? Come on, now. Why would I wear this on here? Come on. You need to brand yourself too, Linda. I can do that. But you got to wait. Y'all got to be patient. And that's what y'all fail to recognize. Every video, when you going to change the channel name? When you going to change the profile picture? Do y'all know why I kept it there? Because we're pushing to get out to a million subscribers. And what happens when people come to my channel? Well, who is this dude on the banner looking so cool? Who is this dude in the profile picture looking so cool? They go look for him. I literally have owls.com on my banner in big, bold letters. And that's what helps because I bring other people over to the niche that don't even know Al Lawn Care Juggernaut or nobody. But with my car videos that I released, a lot of mechanics have come over that didn't even know about this niche, which brought new followers to Al. Y'all not understanding the game that I'm playing here. Y'all y'all really letting stuff fly over your head instead of looking at what I'm doing in the bigger scheme. Like, really, man, like, I know I got a small channel, but any little subscribers I can push over to Al, the more the more the merrier. Even if I only give them a thousand or two thousand new subscribers, 
I, that's me doing something to push my best friend somewhere because I wouldn't be here without him. And I know y'all saying you need to brand yourself, but why do you think I've been putting Clean the City in my videos? It's coming. Y'all just got to be patient and, and, and be patient with me. But you know what? It's gonna, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, revamp it here soon. I just need y'all to be patient, man. It, you can't do stuff overnight. You got to have a plan. All right. But we're going to do this since y'all are in here. And I love y'all. We're going to do this. What'd that say? I'll give y'all time to read it. If you can. Otter, go ahead and read it, Otter. This is what it this is it right here. This is it, man. This is it. It wouldn't have happened without y'all. I hope y'all give me yourself as a pat on the back. It's a, it's the, it's my certificate. This 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 right here is saying that Clean the City is an actual nonprofit organization. It is active. It is now active. Okay. Yes, I'll read it to you. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'll read it to you. I'm sorry. State of Florida Department of State. I certify from the records of this office that Clean the City Inc. is a corporation organized under the laws of the state of Florida. Filed on April 21st, effective April 20th, 2022. The document number of this corporation is blah, blah, blah. I further certify that said corporation has paid all fees due to this office through December 31st, 2022, and that its status is active. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. This is all of us together, though. I need y'all to realize that. Because y'all like to praise me, but I need I need us to start praising all of us, man. For real, man. This, do y'all know I have a nonprofit organization now? Like, that's, man, it gave me chills just thinking about it. I almost just shed a tear, for real. I almost just shed a tear. I had to, I had to bring it back. I almost just shed a tear because y'all don't understand. Y'all think this is not y'all. It's just some people think this is a game, and it's not really a game, dog. I taken this. I, I took this this far for a reason, to show y'all that I'm not playing games out here. Y'all think I really went this far to start a nonprofit? I literally, I literally asked for help everywhere on my Facebook page, all social media platforms, and nobody could help me get started. And I went out on a limb and did all the work myself, did all the research myself, did all the paperwork myself, and I got to this point. I got to this point. Literally, man, I almost put it out there the other day. I really appreciate y'all helping me, but I did it on my own. I don't want to even make nobody feel bad, though. But when people say that they're going to help you and they never reach back out, don't tell me you're going to help me get started on something and then I don't hear from you again. Because I'm serious when I come asking people for help. I literally almost paid this woman $1,000 to do this work for me that only cost $150 to do on my own. And she still didn't do it. That's why I tell y'all, if you want to do something in life, you got to take the initiative and get out there on your own and do it. You can't rely on people to do it for you. You can't rely on people to do it for you. Now, if you have people you trust in, that's cool, but you always, at the end of the day, got to know that you got to pull up the bootstraps and get the work done yourself if need be. Okay, because I had to really do this, man. And I really want to give a shout out to my cousin, Alexander Tommy. That's my Seminole Indian cousin right there. And he has a nonprofit organization at Fort Pierce, which is a football league. He has like a Pop Warner football league called the, uh, the Fort Pierce Seminoles. And uh, it's nonprofit. And just working with him, being young and maturing and turning into a man, still working with him with his league made me want to do this. So I really want to shout out my cousin Alexander for pushing me to do this nonprofit because I've been working with him and his nonprofit for so many years and I knew I wanted to make a difference in the community. He has taken a lot of kids. Fort Pierce is not the most lovely place. We have a nice place. 
a nice side of town, but it's really hard out here and with a lot of communities and people. And my cousin is taking young children out of really bad situations and helping them get to college, helping them get, you know, not even just for sports, man. Like he just really investing in investing to the kids out here for a better future. And I always knew I wanted to do the same. So with this nonprofit organization, y'all, we're going to do not only cleaning up the city, but we're going to do events, too. Now I can get grants from the government to do events. I might pop up in your state. I might just show up in your state. Like, let's do something, y'all. On on me. On me and the on me and the nonprofit. Y'all just show up and let's do something. That's what I want to do for y'all. Okay? But we got a long way to go. Got a long way to go. But once we get there, AP will be reaching out, like, hey, I'll be in your state. If you want to come meet up here, just just come on, everything taken care of. I want y'all to come to, you know, I can get something set up as far as uh, like the, the hotel, like conference rooms or something. And y'all can all come and I can bring catered food and we can all just sit there and enjoy each other's company. Maybe do a live premiere at a place and have y'all gather with me. Who knows what we can do, but the sky is the limit with this. Once you got this, the sky is the limit. Because now I can start opening a lot of doors for people with this. And that's what I plan on doing. Actually, this is my this is not my last day here. I got to come back here and um, give that homeless man something. I want to give him a really nice tent. Because he said he got a tent back there. But who knows how good of a tent it is. But um, I know there's lots of tents out there that are really nice like mini apartment tents and that's what i want to get for him man if i keep pushing i'm trying to help people out like that and give them jobs to work with me doing something not the yard work but if i can get them to do something for me in exchange for currency then that's what i'm gonna start doing too is start helping people out man all right but uh i really appreciate all y'all coming in here as y'all see, I like to talk. So once I get on live, I, I'll start rambling. But it's it's hard to get me on live. Because I just be so busy and caught up. But I need to make time for you lovely people. Because I wouldn't be here without y'all. So we're going to start making time for y'all. So um, let's do this before we end. Do y'all like? Did y'all like this type of live stream? I could be out here cutting the grass right now. And I can do that in the future. I just want to really warm up with y'all and, and let this be the first live stream. But in the future, I can start doing these and I can start putting the uh, phone, which I'm streaming off of right now, on a tripod while I'm cutting the grass. So y'all can really see me like doing the work. You know what I mean? And you can get a little bit behind the scenes. Oh, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Don't, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Everybody... I actually have a app being created and it's going to be our own world. So if you're here, make sure you pay attention because I'm coming out with my own streaming app just for y'all to connect with me on a personal level. I'm telling you it's some big things in the work. So I just kind of threw that out there. I'm going to go ahead and, and give that to y'all, but I'm making my own streaming app where you can come talk to me. I'm going to be just, randomly going live here and there and only y'all will know that have the app youtube won't know nobody won't know i'm trying to create my own community of people man i love that y'all support me so i'm trying to bring y'all into my world and really give y'all some cool experiences so we're gonna do uh streams doing the merch we're gonna do streams doing all type of stuff that youtube is not gonna see so the only thing i ask from y'all to get the app and what is what is this dude doing so now we're going to interview somebody walking through here because i see you and hey, you ain't working mm, we're gonna watch this person hold on y'all see him i don't care if you look over here and see me recording him I'm not getting blamed for no vandalism out here. That's not me doing that. <laughs> that was a big bite. <laughs> I 
All right, y'all. But we're going to end this soon. But I want y'all to know that great things are coming. So I'm going to tell y'all right now, the way that you get the app, the way that you get the app to stay in contact with me is by giving a donation. There's no price tag on a donation, y'all. I'm not here to get your money like that. I'm here to help the community out. So any money that comes through the nonprofit is going to be pushed out into community. So you all can get access to the app by donating to the nonprofit organization. You can donate a dollar. You can literally donate a dollar. I know that a lot of my subscribers live on a fixed income. You got to realize, man, like I, my parents live on a fixed income. You know, like it's not it's not easy when you living on a fixed income and you got to make sure that all your bills are taken care of. I, I understand that, which is why when I do release merch, it's going to be for a good price. And that's why the more I tell y'all, the more it makes sense about this nonprofit. Y'all probably like, why he started a nonprofit? I pay attention to, to a lot of the stuff y'all say in the comments. A lot of the subscribers say, I wish I could buy merch, but I can't afford it. So now with the nonprofit, once I get tax exempt, that's what I'm working on next to get tax exempt. Once I get tax exempt, I can drop the prices on the merch so that it can be dirt cheap and y'all can afford it because I won't be having to take out taxes for each sale. So, oh, bro, what are you doing here, man? See, this is why I need to go talk to him. I probably need to go talk to him and try to talk some sense to him. Not saying he's a bad kid, but now he's just lingering around. And I want to make sure that he's okay, too. I don't want to judge him. But it's like, what are you doing over here? Smoking something and showing off for the camera. So now it's, it's so when you see kids like this, don't judge them. You know, don't judge them because you don't know what kids are going through. All right. It's a young man, so I'm going to go talk to him and, and see how he doing. See what he going through. Check him out, you know? Because a lot of times the kids need guidance. And most times the guidance that they have is not really good role models. So when, um, when you see kids like this that just look lost, it's best to just see what they got going on. Talk to them, man. I love trying to inspire younger folks for real man because i know how it was when i was young and i didn't have a lot of positive inspiration around me besides my mom dad and my brother and um they were just enough to let me know that i need to stay on track i could have did a lot of bad things when i was a young kid but just having that good support around me they made sure i did the right thing and when me looking at this kid right here he he just looked lost man you just wandered over here. I hope he all right. We're going to talk to him in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, police take care of business like that. All about the same time, police can also, how do I say it? Police can also um, use their power for the wrong reasons, okay? Man, I t I'll take caution. I appreciate y'all caring about me, but ain't nobody going to hurt me out here. I'm sorry. I, work, I walk with God. Okay? If it's my time, it's my time. That's how I feel. And I don't, don't feel depressed when I speak like that. It's just real. I really walk with God. Like, if y'all... I'll put my mom on the channel eventually. She's still here. Hopefully, I can get her in the video. But my mom really just lives through me. And I walk with God. I have no fear. But God. That's the only person I fear. I don't fear nobody else. So there's more people coming in here. We're going to talk to them too. Because I already talked to the cops. So if anything, they might want to be scared to be here. <laughs> I already got permission to be here. So, um, But I walk with God, y'all. And I'm not saying I'm ignorant to what's going on out here. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. But I also wake up and I pray. Man, I pray multiple times a day. I meditate and pray at the same time. If I can find some space to just get into that mode and speak with god I'll, i do it man and i don't hide that y'all hear me talking about it on the channel i don't know if anybody else scared to speak about god but i ain't whether you like it or not and if you don't like me speaking about god then you might not just like the person i am i'm not gonna fake being something i'm i'm gonna be me at all times 
So uh, if you don't believe in God, I'm not telling you to leave the channel, but I'm telling you, I'm going to talk about God because I wouldn't be here without him. I wouldn't be here without him. Like, literally, I've y'all probably almost died several times, too. I have almost died several times, and I'm still here. And I think it's because look what I'm doing now. Look what we're doing all together now. If I would have croaked years ago, it wouldn't be none of this going on. And God is really using me as a tool. I truly believe that. Look at me. I have face tattoos. Somebody asked me if I had tattoos. I have face tattoos. Y'all probably ask, why did you do that? Because I'm an artist and I like to express myself how I feel like it. And you only get one life to live here. And I'm going to live my life how I want to live it while I'm here. And therefore, I got tattoos on my face. People say, well, you look like a criminal, a thug. Do y'all know that I've never been arrested before? So when you start to judge people that look like me, don't do that. I've never been arrested in my life. Does that mean I'm soft? Well, come try me. <laughs> come try me. But I'm just saying, like, I've never been arrested a day in my life. But every day I get out here in the community, I get judged every time. And when I open my mouth, that's when things start to change. People are like, oh, okay, I thought you were this way. It's okay. That's why I said God is using me. It's not about me. It's about God just really laying my life out and saying, hey, I want you to take this route. And you know what? I'm going to use you as one of my servants to show people that people that look like you, are lovable and caring people because there's a stereotype going out right now people that look like me and they're oh that's a crazy dude right there he look crazy he must did all the type of stuff but god said i want you to change the narrative i'm going to use you and several other people like you to change the narrative about the judgment that's going on with people that look like you so and man my life purpose is a lot more than just cutting this grass y'all how i carry myself how i talk to people y'all see it in my videos i don't do nothing for show everything just happens sporadically i don't control nothing i'm just out here living my life being a good citizen and i hope y'all are doing the same that's what we're here for we're all here on this channel to be better people every day it's deeper Hey, like Al said, it's bigger than tall grass. We don't just say that for nothing, y'all. It's bigger than tall grass. We get out here really to make a difference in the community, and we're doing the best we can every day. And it's just the start of it. We have so many, so many plans, and we just need y'all to stay with us so we can all enjoy this together, all right? So once again, I'm going to plug it. Make sure y'all email me. I hope to check my email later on and have those correct answers to the make and model and year of those cars so I can send out the giveaway. Is it in here? Thought I brought it. I really want to get that giveaway sent out though. So y'all make sure y'all send me the answer to that. Also, if you want to, um, if you want that app, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna, maybe I will. Maybe I'll tease people once the app gets going and during, um, during filming a video, I'll do a live stream and I'll show the channel like hey i got this live stream look at everybody's in here talking to me right now and maybe you don't want to download it but i want to keep it kind of low-key for the real supporters out there if you really support me i want you to have access to this app and because the app's going to be cool man like literally i can just wake up and stream on it and y'all can just tap in and talk to me and nobody will know on YouTube. Like, it's just our own little space to get to know each other. You guys are going to have the opportunity to make your own profiles. Listen, on this app I'm creating, you'll have the opportunity to make your own profiles. You'll be able to upload your own pictures. You'll be able to have your own bio section so I can get to know you more. You'll be able to send me direct messages, which you can't do on YouTube. You'll be able to donate to the nonprofit organization. As much as you want, as little as you want, it's up to you. You'll be able to buy merch off of this app. It will be a store inside the app where you can go and buy different pieces of merch. Um, you'll be able to submit pictures of you wearing the merch. You will be able to submit videos of you helping people in the community so that I can share your videos. This is about me connecting with y'all. It's way bigger than this tall grass, I'm telling you. As much as y'all been supporting me, 
I just don't know what to say. I really don't, man. I get choked up a lot when I read y'all comments saying that I, I'm inspiring you all and I'm helping you throughout the day. Like, y'all got to realize, man, I'm just a regular dude out here trying to love people. And, like, it really, me and Al get really emotional sometimes, man. We're men at the end of the day, but we get real emotional because we just truly love people. And when we see that we're helping y'all out and uh, inspiring y'all and just really giving y'all good content to watch, it really makes us feel just some type of way that we, we've never felt this type of way before. So we just, I just really want to say, before I sign out, I really want to say thank you to each and every one of y'all su for supporting my best friend, Al Blaze, because like I said, without Al, there would be no AP. Just That's just the facts. Without Al, there would be no AP. So I really just want to say thank y'all for supporting Al. Trying to show y'all just how much Al is my my best friend, but I can't I can't find it right now. Nah, I can't find it. But I want to say thank y'all for everything you do. If you want to stay up to date on the app, please send me an email at cleanthecityinc at gmail.com. You can find it in the description of my videos as well. Um Yeah, come on man. We've been at this. <laughs> We've been at this. This is an old business card, man. Come on. We've been at this. We've been at this. This is a collector's item. I know y'all wish y'all had this, huh? This one of our old business cards for his clients. Mm-hmm. Been at this, man. This ain't just happened yesterday. Come on, y'all. But I love y'all. Make sure y'all send an email once again, Clean the City Inc. C L E A N T H E C I T Y I N C at gmail.com. And I'll get y'all all on the email list. Once again, it's not about the money, y'all. I just want y'all to donate something so I can see that you're seriously a supporter. Because there's not all our subscribers are supporters. Y'all got to realize that. Y'all say, oh, yeah, you got the dang. You're almost to 55,000 subscribers. Do you know that even some of your haters will subscribe to you just to keep up with you? So that's why I'm trying to really get y'all into my own community. Because y'all, every last one of y'all in this chat right now are true supporters. There's no hater in here yet. At least I haven't seen yet. But that doesn't mean that I want every 50,000 subscriber to be on this other platform because I don't want to bring negative energy over there. So I want to make sure that everybody I get on this app are true supporters and I can stay in touch with y'all because I don't want somebody coming over and ruining our experience and coming in because it's going to be a live chat just like we're doing now. So what if we get a hater over there that's just we give them access and not everybody's going to have access. It's going to be a private app. OK, so that's why I'm telling y'all, you got to be part of the club. It's actually going to be a crew. Y'all been saying AP pack and all this stuff. We're going to start something, but we're going to be in our own world with it. And nobody's going to know unless you're in the in the crew. So um, thank you. I love each and every one of y'all. And I just want to keep y'all updated. Once again, you donate if you can with your car. If it's going to let you do it, you can donate 50 cents if you want to. And you're going to get the app. But I, I want to make sure, like, this is going to separate the people that want to be, that, that are really supporters and the people that, you know, just like to keep up with you and hate on you. I want to keep them out of this. I want just y'all lovely people to be over here on this live stream app with me. This might be the only time I stream on this app, actually, because the, the streaming app should be done in uh, about three weeks. So maybe I'll go live one more time. And then after that, we're going to be on my own app. And it's going to be called Clean the City Live. That's what the app is going to be called, Clean the City Live. And we're going to do all sorts of stuff. I mean, I'm going to travel with y'all, and, and we're going to go live. Y'all going to see me behind the scenes traveling to other states to do work. We're going to do behind the scene merch. If y'all are interested in learning how to do merch, let me know. I want to teach y'all. Like, if it's people that out there that want to learn how to do their own merch, for their business or they got a youtube channel and they want to learn how to do their own merch i am willing to share my secrets and knowledge with y'all do y'all understand that i go crazy when they go to merch did y'all see al's patches
that he used to have and how they used to be in the packaging and the, the plastic and everything i did all that from scratch we didn't we, we didn't pay somebody over overseas to ship us a whole bunch of them packaged i actually bought the clear pack uh clear plastic bags i bought uh photo paper and made my own labels i do all that stuff i made this myself i have an embroidery machine at home i do this myself like i bought a white coverall and designed it myself also with all y'all love and support these coveralls are made by red cap and they sent me three brand new pairs for free because they see the love that i've been receiving on youtube from you all so it could be a possible sponsorship coming up soon from the brand that makes these coveralls all because of y'all giving me love i only say this because y'all really got to give y'all selves a pat on the back man the work that you're doing the work that you're doing just by showing love to the channel is very important a boot company just reached out trying to sponsor me with some boots we're going to see if they are good boots before we, we you know, do anything with them. And I'm going to give out a pair to one of y'all. And I need y'all to tell me if the boots are nice or not. Because I'm not supporting any type of brand unless me and my subscribers love the brand. I'm sorry. I'm not losing my integrity on this platform. I'm not losing my integrity. I don't care how much money you bring to me. I don't care what kind of words you got to say. If it ain't good product. And if me and my subscribers can't stand behind it and push it, we're not moving forward. We're not moving forward. So they sent me an email. They said, hey, we got boots. It looked nice. But, you know, I'm a photographer. So I know how it is. You can make things look nice, but that don't mean that they are nice. So I told them, hey, before I commit to anything, y'all send me these boots and let me try them out. All right. So we're going to they sent me two pair and one for me to keep want for me to give away i don't take no brand deals unless i can give something away to my subscribers which is what y'all saw with the leaf blower i said they, they sent me the email i said okay it sounds good but i need something to give to my subscribers too because we all got to eat out here when i get something new one of them got to get something new so where that's why i told y'all wherever i go y'all going y'all might think i'm being funny when i say that but I'm being dead serious. Wherever I go, I'm taking y'all with me. When I get saying cool, I'm giving away saying cool. It's all about sharing and caring out here and making the world go round. So I love y'all. If you need something from me, need more information, somebody said, let me let me catch up. Somebody said put. I, I don't do too many live streams. I know I'm supposed to put a description. That's what somebody said, huh? Okay, I will. My Grammy says that. Please put information again how to get your nonprofit organization. Oh my God, Teresa! If I had this place, oh my God! If this was my actual like warehouse, and I might get back to there. It just depends on where this channel go up. To be honest, y'all, I I really want to do a lot right now, but I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow with YouTube. So I have to be careful. Y'all got to realize I'm just now starting to, you know, grow with y'all help. But y'all got to keep me going. The more y'all keep pushing me, the more AP going to do like some crazier, cooler things and keep this, you know, channel going. Like y'all yeah, been seeing when I'm purchasing, this stuff is not cheap, man. That's a brand new blower. That thing costs $400. That Edger costs over $200. This is because y'all are supporting the channel. And I know that this is going to push forward with my work and help me get the work done even more neater and better you know my leaf blower the battery only lasts for 20 minutes i can't blow this whole place with that leaf blower in 20 minutes so i knew i had to go upgrade it was just only what i'm gonna do sweep this whole parking lot no freaking way so i had to go get that but i knew it was possible and i knew it was a good investment because you guys always ask me to upgrade and i love to surprise y'all when i start upgrading because y'all feel good about it y'all like okay we're we're helping him out we're watching the videos he's getting paid he's able to upgrade his equipment but i can't give nobody the credit but y'all man i get out here and bust my tail but that don't mean that y'all have to watch my videos that's the true thing that's why people on youtube need to understand you know don't and don't get so comfortable when you get a big channel and think that it's just gonna happen all the time because tomorrow people can stop watching you and that's why right now i'm just trying to be smart and really just really just kind of save my money i haven't really done nothing i've just been saving because i don't know i, I know y'all support my channel 
but I just don't know what tomorrow will bring. So I'm just trying to really plan for the worst, but also try to understand how to move forward and start doing cool stuff like this. Because I want to, right now, I live with my sister. We, uh, we, we split the rent on our home, but I want to get my own little space because I have my space in Atlanta. I just moved in with my sister because they renovated the homes on the reservation. Y'all remember that if you're an OG subscriber. They renovated the homes on the reservation and then we all had to move out temporarily. It's time to move back to the reservation. But I don't think I want to go back there. I want to get my own space. I love my family on the reservation, but I want to get my own space and uh, focus on my work. So the more y'all push me with this channel, the more we'll figure out things, make things happen. But we're gonna have fun and we're not gonna forget the main goal and that's to help people out. That's what it's about. Everything I do is about inspiring and helping people. Cause I've been asking God my whole life, how do I help people? And now he just put it in my lap and said, are you conscious of what I'm doing in your life now? You've been asking for this your whole life. Now get to work. And that's what I've been doing. I wake up every day like, God, what are we gonna do today for somebody? And I try to figure it out. So even if I can't do the, the most craziest thing, if I could just say hey to somebody, hope, hold the door open for somebody. I went to KFC earlier and um, the lady that was at the drive-thru, she just sounded so depressed. I was like, what's going on? She was like, calm down. I'm like, no, man, because you sound like you need to be uplifted. And she started smiling right away and she just was happy. She was like, I'm glad somebody having a good day, man. I'm glad you came through with that energy because people just need that. People just need a little bit of light around them. Cause like, especially during this time, the pandemic, people still dying out here. The death rate is not going down by any, it's not going down at all. It's just getting worse and worse. We're just normalized to it now. So it's not as bad as it was in March of 2020. Now it just seemed regular, you know what I mean? But it's not regular y'all. And I need y'all to understand that. And I need y'all to understand that life is not promised and get on your grind. If you have something that you want to do in life, get to it. Do it. Share it with me. Let me know what you want to do. Be serious about it though, because I take, you know, entrepreneurs or people that just want to be creative or do things in life, I take it serious. So I might want to get behind one of y'all and help you out. That's what I'm all about, man. But let me know that you're serious and that you're really trying to make a difference out here. That's what it's all about networking. And I'm on here to use this app for the greater good, to meet great people and to push forward in life. So I love y'all. Once again, if you need any information from me, make sure you, that you email cleanthecityinc at gmail.com and I'll get back to you, okay? Can we have more information on your nonprofit AP? We absolutely want to help you get those awesome. What, what you want to know? I'm not in a rush. What you want to know? And I'll, I'll tell you, my bad. Good energy is the best and you are right. Just getting over COVID, still out of work. Me and Al had COVID at the same time. If y'all been watching us for a while, we caught COVID together. That was the crazy part. Last year, we caught COVID together. So I understand that. It was rough, too. We couldn't smell or taste for like three months. <laughs> Me and Al was eating such good food, and we couldn't taste none of it. That was the funny part. Any kind of information where we can somehow... Oh, um, okay. Okay, that's what y'all want to know. Um, let me, okay, how about this, y'all? We'll, we'll start that when the app is finished because that's why the app is so powerful and I'm telling y'all about it because basically how you go to a website to donate to, you know, Red Cross and all this type of stuff, that is going to be my website for the nonprofit for you to donate the app. The app will also be a website. So if you guys don't want to, you guys and gals don't want to get on to the app on your phone, there'll be an actual physical website you can get on to watch the stream as well on your computers. So it depends on what kind of device you want to use, but this app is going to have everything combined. Where if you want to buy merch, you can buy merch. If you want to donate, you can donate. You might not want merch, you just want to donate something. And once again, there's no price tag on any donations. Literally, you give me a penny, I'm good with that because I appreciate anything given to me. And I'm not just saying that to be funny. I appreciate anything given to me. So 
And all we're going to do is just recycle this money and try to do things. I want to try to help kids get to school with scholarships. I want to better the lives of the elderly in our community. It's a lot of people that need help out here. And we're going to take our time and try to reach as many people as we can, including y'all. Including y'all. That's why I said if y'all need help, please let me know so I can come to you. Just let it, you know, don't don't be sending me out there to do a regular yard now, y'all. I ain't asking you to send me into a jungle either, but, you know, don't don't call me out to do a regular yard now. Now, if you need help, I'm, I'm willing to come. I'm telling you. Y'all better email me because a few people have emailed me and I've been putting them on my list. Like, okay, I need to go help this person. I need to go help this person. So I'm paying attention to the emails when people reach out. How you doing, CJ? My Grammys. Remember how AP gave that homeless lady food a few months ago and families around when they need it? And I'm going to start doing that again, too. I don't know if y'all know, but it's an app where you can do uh, surveys and get paid for it. I wake up really early a lot of times because I have insomnia. So I'll be up early at like 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the a.m. just for no reason. And... um with this survey app, it might take a little while for you to make some money, but you can make like four to five dollars an hour just doing surveys. So what AP gonna do, I'm just gonna, since I wake up at three o'clock, I'm gonna start doing these surveys for two hours every morning. And at the end of the week, I'm gonna take that money or at the end of every two weeks, I'm gonna take the money I made from that app and I'm going to go get food for the homeless. This is something I can do in my extra time it ain't harming me. It ain't taking nothing from me. If I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I don't, I don't get active until 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Why not do something for that little bit of time to where I can give back to the community? That's why I really take my life serious, y'all, and the time that I have, too. Every little second in life, you can be doing something. So that's why I said, like, man, there's ways to do it, you know? Like... Maybe I don't have a whole whole lot of money to be doing a lot of crazy stuff now, but if I can find another, another source of income, I'll do that so I can go help the homeless out. And I'm thinking I did the numbers. If I can make $5 an hour doing surveys, and I do two surveys every morning, that's $10. By the end of the week, I could probably go get pizza and drinks for the homeless like me and Al did a while ago. We probably paid out of pocket about $70 for drinks and pizza. Now, if I can do that, if I can come out, if I can get do those surveys and get at least 50 to $70 every week, I'm feeding the homeless every week. I'm feeding the homeless every week. Just by taking two hours of my day every morning and doing surveys. So I'm telling y'all, it's, it's plenty of ways to give back out here. You don't have to look into your personal expenses. You can find a way to give back to the community. You just got to think about it and make it make sense. Okay, yeah, this this can work. This can work. I got time for this. I got time for that. You even got to put in the hour. Put in 30 minutes and get you get your $2.50 or something. Like It'll add up at the end of the week, and that's the whole lesson here. If you just take baby steps, eventually it will come together. Making $5, $10 a day don't sound good, huh? But if it's being used to give back and at the end of the week, you make $50 and you can go get people pizza and drinks and make their day. How cool is that? All right. But um, I'm just trying to inspire y'all, man, because I, I really ask myself every day, how do I help people? And now it's just all starting to come. It's like God is just starting to just zoop, zoop, zoop. Put all these little ideas in my head. Zoop, zoop, zoop. That's another way, Harrison. Donate blood plasma. They paying like hundred dollars per per time you make a visit. I know because one of my brother's friends does it, and he always like I used to live with my brother, and his friend lived there too, and he used to always come home from the plasma place. I say you just gave plasma. He like yep. So I know about that too. But you, hey, shout out to Red Cap. I'm telling y'all, man, and I'm coming up with a new coverall design, and one of y'all lucky subscribers are gonna get one of my coveralls. I'm not going to give away the design I'm coming up with, but it's going to be a white coverall, but I'm just going to make it the new coverall, the new and approved one. And one of y'all are going to get one. I'm going to make you one. Ship it out. It's going to be a giveaway coming soon.